Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. So we're going to see what your new person is like, what they want from you in their next actions. And then we're going to see the the old person, um, the ex, what uh, they want from you, what's their next actions um, and where they are right now. Okay. Some of us want to know about old people. Some of us don't. Some of us want to know about our new person. So um, hopefully this helps everyone out all right so let's see let's start with our new person so for th those of you who have someone new in your life um and those of you who are waiting on your new person hopefully this will be some indication of what you'll deal with when you get your new person okay uh thank you god for blessing aquarius with a clear concise message all right so let's see um how does the new person feel about aquarius How's the new person feel about Aquarius? All right, so the new person feels like you're guarded, Aquarius. Seven of Wands, they feel like they have to do a lot to um, get your attention or keep it. They also may feel like you have a lot of people after you. Um, that you kind of take a minority approach to life, like you don't follow the crowd here. Um, there's a bit of activism or active activist spirit about you, you know? Um, you stand on your square. You're unmovable. Okay. Um, interesting. So let's see uh, what the old person, uh, how they feel about you right now. How does the, um, this new person may also feel like, I don't know if they feel like you have a lot of sexual partners or they just really want to have sex with you. If you haven't already gone there or they feel like the sex is really good. Um, they, they may feel like you want to keep it at a sex only type of relationship oh, for some of you all right how does this old person feel about the Aquarius how does the old person feel about Aquarius all right the four of cups so they feel like um there's some rejection here like you won't take to their what's being offered um they feel like you're over it um you feel nothing you're at a place of melancholy you're at a place of um you're indifferent uh, about this person um, that you're focused on you, you're self-centered or you, you take, they feel like you're taking a self-centered approach to this connection. They feel like, um, maybe they missed an opportunity with you. They missed out on the blessing that was you or the, the relationship. And they were too concerned with the other three cups, uh, party, socializing, dating other people, mixing it up, listening to others. Um, so this person could just feel like, um, there's no hope, you know? Uh, or there's very little hope. Let's see um, what the new person wants with you, Aquarius. What does the new person want with Aquarius? The Ace of Swords. So they want some truth and some clarity. They also want to, like, they want to be clear and decisive about what they're doing with you, what the relationship is and where it's going. The Ace of Swords says that they want to make some irrevocable change with you. Like they want to be able to just move forward with you freely, knowing that they're making the right decision. This new person wants to know that they're clear or there's something about clear clarity. They're unsure about something. So maybe they want to have some definite conversation with you that's really going to open or unlock the door um, to the next level between you and them. Um, they also may want to cut something or somebody out. They want to make sure that they're doing the right thing, that you feel the same way, that you're all in um, or vice versa. They feel like you you want to have that type of conversation. Um, let's see what this, uh, this old person, the ex, wants from you, Aquarius. What does the ex want from Aquarius? The high priestess. All right, so you're the best they ever had. You're, you're a threat to every other woman or man. Um, this person feels like um, they also may want to um, they want to talk to you they want to decide on you or they want some decision to be made in terms of them coming back towards you because there's um, there's separation here between you and an ex here hence they're an ex um, they want you to look at something differently they want to wipe the slate clean they want to have a clean um bill of sale or record with you or something like that they just want uh, they want clarity they want uh you guys to come back together they want 
you your forgiveness they want you to let bygones be bygones come back together they feel like um they want to grow something with you they want to once again you're the best sex mind-blowing sex they feel like you are very wise you're um kind of um all-knowing you not all-knowing but you you can read them very well uh they want this silence that's between the two of you to stop um they feel like right now you're just extremely uh, desirable, almost unattainable, um, maybe because you have cut this person off or out. Uh, you've shut them off mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Uh, it seems as if they, they just want the opportunity to come back. Um, they want the opportunity to make something right also, uh, maybe right their wrongs with you, um, maybe even apologize to you, let's see. Let's see about this new person. What's the new person's um, next actions towards the Aquarius? What's the new person's next action towards Aquarius? The new person's, all right, the Six of Wands, very nice. So it's like, um, they wanna choose you and they wanna promote you. They wanna uh, promote this relationship. They wanna propose something to you. They wanna take something to the next level. Um, it seems as if you kind of check all the boxes for them. Um, they like being with you, around you. The energy that you um, you radiate is good for them. It, it's invigorating. It's uh, illuminating. Um, this person just really wants to um, have peace, calm, balance with you. Um, they may want to take you out. They want to show you off. They want to parade you around. They want to celebrate you. They want to make sure you get recognition. This person could even want to help you in your business or career endeavors. Um, wow, this is really good about this new person. Yeah, you could be dealing with a very powerful man. Um, you know, his word is just good. Um, he can speak things into existence. Also, he has a lot of people around him where he can make things happen for you. It's like this person has some idea of what they want with you, but they want to make sure that you're clear about how you feel about them or the relationship. It's like somebody wants to manifest their ideas into reality. Um, this person wants to say something to you that will make the relationship uh, go even smoother or smooth. Let's see what their the ex, their um, next actions are towards you. What's the ex next actions? What is the, the okay? Uh, the Knight of Pentacles. So it's like they're going to just stand still um they're being stubborn uh like rigid stuck it's like they know that they want to offer you something and that they should and that they should make something right but they're not coming towards you for whatever reason um they could feel like uh, the relationship has grown cold um that maybe you're bored with them you're bored with what they have to offer it seems as if they want to they, they so they're standing still and not making any offer to you because of the five of swords they know that it's bad blood between the two of you you know it, it's it's been argument it has been mind games it's been um, drama it's been childish behavior um, it's been a love affair with no significant change or title change. It's been um, chaotic at best. You know, it's it's just um, it's not right, and uh, and maybe that's why this person is not moving towards you. Um, they could be waiting for you to move towards them or give them some indication that they can come towards you. It's like they know that you're a good person. It's like their loyalty lies with you, you know. Um, but they just don't, they don't know how to act. You you both don't know how to act together. And maybe that's why you, you guys need to be apart. Um, let's get some closing advice for Aquarius for dealing with a new person. Closing advice for Aquarius dealing with the new person. Closing advice for Aquarius with the new person. What's the advice for Aquarius with the new person? Advice for Aquarius. All right. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. Take it to the next level, Aquarius. Progress this relationship. Nurture it. Cultivate 
the relationship that you want. This is this talks about the Ace of Pentacles, the seed of productivity. This is just a seed. It can grow, nurture it, cultivate it, do everything different. If you did something in a past relationship and it didn't turn out in a way that you wanted it to, do everything different. Go the complete opposite direction. Um, your life is coming into some um, self-sustaining, self-fulfilling uh, prophecy here. The manifestation of this relationship is here for you. It's just about you putting all your effort 110% behind growing this connection. Um, it's re That's really good, Aquarius. Um, psychologically, you even know what you need to do. You need to know how you need to act uh, or how to react or what to, yeah, what to do, how you need to show up in what capacity. So this is good. Let's see. Um, yeah, have fun too. Don't forget to have fun, Aquarius. Uh, date this person, uh, flirt, open up, communicate, communicate how you're thinking and feeling, okay? Um, take the relationship to the next level if you need to. Do something big, something grand with your person. This is victory. This is success. You can have that with this new person. This is so good, Aquarius. All right, so um, advice for the, for the old or the ex person for Aquarius. Advice for the ex person. What's the advice for the ex? What's the advice for Aquarius dealing with an ex person? What's the advice for Aquarius? Oh. So you got three, four cards that fell onto the floor. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them just how they fell. All right. So we got the moon card in the upright. All right. So you guys are separated. Uh, this person is thinking about you. They have some some deep emotional uh, feelings that maybe they never expressed to you. Um, you both are very different. You go about life very different. One of you could be very tamed, very tamed in your emotions and how you just approach things, people, life. And the other could be very wild, feral, if you will. The both of you bring each other out of your comfort zone. Um, it's like the sun and the moon, you know, coming together which never come together, you know, um, this is a uh, very interesting, uh, energy Aquarius. Uh, this person, the advice here is understand that you guys have like polar opposites. Okay. Um, the six of wands, understand that maybe this person wants your attention, your affection. They want you to place your, your sight on them, your energy into them. Um, they feel like you are just the advice here, Aquarius, is for you to walk off strutting your stuff because you win. You win this battle. You win this battle by not even participating. Somebody wants you to participate in the drama and the discord and the pettiness and the fighting for. Don't even know what you're fighting for. And it looks like you're, you're, you're winning, Aquarius. And, and this is a time where you feel very confident. There's a high level of self-esteem here. Okay. Um, you know you win because you rested on your principles and your morals. Um, the magician in reverse, nothing can manifest, nothing good can manifest from this. Nothing worth having can manifest from this. This person's manifestation power, um, their words, they mean nothing. Um, they use their power for bad. Uh, this is what, you know, the cards want to advise you of Aquarius. Um, Everything that they said to you was a joke. It was a lie. It was um, a fallacy. They created a facade for you, a fantasy. Um, they use all of that charisma, that power for manipulation as a manipulation tool to gain, to get whatever it is they're looking for. The hangman in the reverse, um, there is no seeing this from a different perspective. It is what it is. See it for what it is see this person for who they are. Um, you can't have what you really want with this connection, with this person. Um, rest in that energy. Wrap your mind around the fact that maybe you wasted your time. Um, there is no taking a time out to find enlightenment. This person isn't doing that and neither do you. You need to move out of this. It doesn't work. You should have learned something about yourself 
in this connection and now it's time to move on at the bottom of the deck wow we have the judgment card it's time for you to call judgment on this make the decision so a decision is to go in and then make an incision and cut away so you need to cut away this person this relationship make call a judgment call judgment on this make a snap decision to not be involved in this any longer to not give energy effort time thought emotion to this it doesn't serve you go through the grieving process but definitely make resolve in your heart your mind to really be done with this that's what i have for you aquarius i hope that it resonates for you if you feel like it does go over to the website book your own reading there uh, you can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can donate to the channel. If you took something from the reading, you can always give back by buying me a coffee. You can click that link, buy me a coffee. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.